Hi all, let's check out our next question in replacement analysis. A truck owner finds from his past experience that the maintenance costs are rupees 200 for the first year and then increase by rupees 2000 every year and the purchase cost is rupees 9000 for truck type A. So the first line gives us data as regarding to a truck type A where the purchase cost is 9000. The maintenance cost is rupees 200 which is increased by rupees 2000 as each year passes. Determine the best year at which to replace the truck either with the same truck or a different variant type B. The purchase cost of truck type B is rupees 10,000 and the annual operating cost are rupees 400 for the first year and then increased by rupees 800 every year. So now we are given data as to a different variant which is asked to us whether we need to replace truck A with truck B and the data for truck B is purchase cost is 10,000 which is expensive than truck A. The annual operating cost for the first year is 400 which is also more expensive than truck A. But then the increase per year is only 800 which is far lesser than what truck A has. The owner now has type A and it's one year old. Should it be replaced and if so when? So the question seems to be a bit confusing at first read right. But then it's pretty straightforward. There is nothing much we have to do. Repeat the same process we did for questions 1 and 2 for both the trucks type A and type B and then assess based on the last line that is the owner has truck type A and it's one year old so should it be replaced and if so when so let's start solving it and the solution requires drawing two tables which are of same similar nature for type A and type B and the tables are the exact same as what we did for the last two questions so the first comes here then comes the investment cost then comes the running cost or operating cost then comes the accumulated running cost then the total cost and finally average annual cost that's it and this we need to draw for both type A and type B. So I'm going to draw it side by side type A type B. Just copying all this data pasting it right for type B. So all that we have to do now is pick up data from the question and fill it out in the table. So I'm just going to finish it off for type A right now. So here's one, two, three, four, five. I'm just going to stop it right here since data is not given to regarding the number of years the truck can be used. I'm just going to stop it over here and if it requires me to go beyond fifth year I'll find. Okay so next comes investment cost but before that let me just clean these tables up make it more presentable. So halting the video pausing the video for now and cleaning it up. So finished cleaning it up and now filling out the items. So investment cost and investment cost I had mentioned it is the difference between the purchase cost and the resale value, right? So for this question, we do not have resale value. We are not given data as to resale value. So our investment cost will be nothing but our purchase cost. So for A, it's 9000, 9000, 9000, 9000, 9000. Running cost, it's told to us in the question that for A, the first year it's 200, then it increases by 2000. So, first year it's 200. Next year it increases by 2000. So, it's 200 plus 2000. Fine. Then it increases again by 2000. So, it, this is going to be 2200 plus 2000. Next, it's 4,200 plus 2,000, so it's 6,200. And after that, it is going to be 6,200 plus 2,000. And that is 8,200. So pretty straightforward. Nothing much to sit over there. And all I have to do now is accumulate them. So 200 for the first sale. Next, till it's going to be 200 plus 2,200. And I'm just going to drag the formula all the way down. Now total cost is just nothing but investment cost plus accumulated running cost. 
dragging the formula all the way down now average annual cost which is nothing but total cost divided by the respective number of years dragging it all the way down as well now let's see what's happening with the annual cost it was 9200 first year it decreased to 5700 decreased to 5200 then it started increasing okay so this is how you get the q as to whether we have required number of years to find out the best year optimal year the q is you need to see that trend in average annual cost that has it has to decrease and then increase so decrease up to a certain point and once that certain point reaches it start increasing so if the data based on the number of years you have formulated gives that certain point which is the lowest that point afterwards which the cost starts increasing you can stop your table then and there i do not have to find data for sixth year seventh year eight year now because i have found the lowest point over here and that happens to be the third year so i'm highlighting it now the same thing for b one two three four five i'm doing it for first five years only investment cost is ten thousand ten thousand ten thousand fine running cost what does the question say it says it's 400 for the first year and it increases by 800 so 400 400 plus 800 1200 1200 plus 800 2000 2800 2800 plus 800 is 3600 fine next comes cumulative running cost that's nothing but cumulating of the running cost so 400 for the first column then it comes 400 plus 1200 and i'm just going to drag this formula all the way down drag down next is the total cost column cumulative rc that's cumulative running cost or operating cost plus the investment cost that's a capital cost we've got the total cost as well dragging it all the way down now the average annual cost just like we did previously divided by number of years now the average annual cost is available as well now let's check the trend in average annual costs i'm going to shorten number of decimals over here I'm going to cancel out the decimals okay so 10400 decreases to 5800 again decreases to 4500 again decreases to 4100 again decreases to 4000 okay we can't see that trend over here in type b the trend where i mentioned the average annual cost is supposed to decrease reach a certain point and then increase so it's throughout decreasing so we need to find the average annual cost for few more years so that we can notice the trend and based on which we can find the year which is optimal for replacement so for type b we need to find for the next year this is going to be ten thousand running cost it increases by 800 so 3600 plus 800 would give you 4400 accumulated so 10000 plus 4400 oh silly me i just had to drag the formula down total cost i just typed out the formula and there you go so now 4000 has increased to 4067 and now we can stop because the trend has been revealed it's been decreasing reached 4000 and then it increased to 4067 and now from sixth year onwards it won't decrease it will keep on increasing it is not going to decrease because that's how the average annual cost trend curve behaves so for type b the optimal year of replacement is 4000 right but then is that what is asked to us in the question what is asked to us the owner now has type a and it is one year old should it be replaced and if so when all right so the owner currently has used type a and it's elapsed one year now they have asked us to find out whether we should replace truck a now or in the coming years and which truck is to be bought okay so let's list out the data after year one okay so let's list out before that let me just minimize this okay so i'm going to call this table comparing annual average cost of a and b after year one okay 
so my years here are going to be 2 3 4 5 fine and this is going to be for a this is going to be for b so from second year a is cost i'm just copying it saving just the values same for b from the second year up to fifth year copying it saving just the values and the reason why i only took values till the fifth year is because b has the least average annual cost at fifth year and a's least value happens before fifth year it happens at third year so if b's value happened at a further year than the fifth if it had happening at the sixth year i would have taken six years data till six years over here got it so let me just clean this table up so pausing the video for now so i've cleaned the table up and this is how it looks and what we need to do now is find whether the existing truck is to be replaced that is whether the existing truck that is truck a which we used for one year is to be replaced and if so then with which truck so there are quite a few things that we need to look over here see the total cost of b is far lesser than a after the third year a starts to get really expensive compared to b after year number three right so if a replacement schedule is happening to us after year three then it's better to us to go with b because for the first three years b is more expensive sorry first two years b is more expensive because b has 10400 a has 9200 b has 11600 and a has 11400 but then for the three years happening afterwards b is cheaper and that is a huge and that too by a huge margin see for fifth year a has a total cost of 30000 whereas for type b it's just 20000 so there's a difference of 10000 rupees so a benefit of 10000 rupees is there if we take b and replace it at fifth years fifth year okay so it's ideal for us to change to b because it gives us more life and lesser value so what we need to find out from here is which year we need to replace a and get b so it's pretty obvious the best year for replacing A is a third year and we have found it out in the previous table. So at this year, at the third year, we replace to B. So at third year, replace truck A with truck B. Okay. I hope you understood why because truck b tends to be lesser expensive in the long run compared to truck a so we are better off with replacing truck a with truck b if it had been the other way around we would have replaced truck a with truck a itself at the three years three year interval and it would have been happening on and off on and off at three years again and again so at third year replace truck a with truck b and once we have truck b subsequently truck b can be replaced with the truck b itself at the end of five years so once that is done subsequently replace truck b with truck b itself at the end of five years got it i hope you understood what i did over here the first thing that i did was checked after drawing this table i checked which truck is comparatively less costlier in the long run and it was obviously truck b only at the first two years truck b tended to be a bit more expensive and that was by a small margin but at years three four five the cost benefit of truck b outweighed the cost of truck a so we understood that truck b is far more economical for us in the long run and based on that we checked when to replace truck a and with this table we know truck a is to be replaced at the end of third year so at the end of third year we replace truck a because after third year the annual cost keeps on increasing so replace truck a at the end of third year with truck b and subsequently at every five years replace truck b with another truck b so that's all for this question i hope you have understood if you have any queries please write to us we are more than happy to help thank you